What is going on here, man? We've been a great morning, afternoon, evening, whatever since we're this video. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing some stuff that you're probably not gonna like by the title, but don't worry, because there's gonna be a new build coming. I'm um, just making some life decisions right now. Um, actually gonna be selling the LBZ. So, uh, we just got back from the gym. Uh, about to make a protein shake right now. Shot the rice ups. Um, pretty good stuff, pretty good stuff. But we have some uh, exhaust wrap we're gonna put on the bottom of the stack, clean it up a little bit. Uh, we have the fleece five high mod, some LED high beams that I've never had, but I'm putting those in. I ordered a lot of stuff uh, prior to thinking about even posting for sale because like I said, we were gonna to go to the truck shows in Gallenberg and Nashville this year and planning on still going to those just with a different truck. Um, maybe not having anything done to it either, just uh, going to vibe with the homies that are gonna be there. But yeah, so I decided to sell the truck. Um, it's listed for 25 or best offer right now on Facebook Marketplace um, in Aiken, South Carolina. So if it hasn't sold before this video goes live, um, yeah, just hit the comments and let me know. But it's for sale. I'm gonna be getting out of some debt with that and I'm gonna be enjoying life a little bit better. Uh, like I don't need to sell it at all, but it's just something that would be smart for the future. So uh, obviously nothing's ever serious when you first start selling stuff. Everybody just messages you and you know, bullshits you. So everybody's like, I'll give you 20 cash now. I'm like, well, come on, title's here. I'll put your name on the title in less than an hour, you know? So no one's really serious yet, but I know it'll sell for that. I know. A couple of my buddies that just bought some LBZs that have like more miles than mine and they paid like 19 for like not as nearly as much shit is done on that truck. So it'll sell and I really am gonna miss it but on to bigger and better things. Look how beautiful she is boys and girls. I'm gonna miss the hell out of this truck. I really am. I built this thing for three years and it was a one owner truck i'm the second owner of it i told myself i would never sell it but i mean things happen for real i mean this thing has overcame quite a few few changes um oh it sucks but this is what it is so first and foremost you're gonna come over here and up your hood I mean, look at that, Sean, the engine bay up and everything, y'all. I mean, she is ready to go to a new owner. And then uh, what you're gonna do is get your fleece performance thing. I mean, it's a fuse adapter, really. So you put a fuse in here and it bridges the other fuse to the high beam slash low beam at the same time. So uh, there is a way you can do this with a wire, but this just looks a lot cleaner and more official. So uh, come in here, here, go to your fuse box. All right, so you're gonna come to your fuse box and you're going to replace your uh, headlight high beam relay. And this is your fog light relay right here. All right, and then this is your low beam relay right here. And your daytime run lamp relay right here. And they're all the same part number, so it really doesn't matter how you put it in. But then you're just gonna go ahead and set this in here. I'm actually gonna take this fuse out real quick. Go ahead and do that right now. It really don't matter. Drop this in with the fleece performance logo facing up. Put that back in. And start plugging your relays back in. Just like that. And you see how the little prongs like are going in that little metal piece right there in the middle of the screen. That's what's bridging all these together. Just like that. And last but not least, just like that. Now, when you turn your high beams on, uh, all lights should be on. Um, but before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and install these uh, 9005 uh, high beam LED bulbs. I just got some cheap Amazon ones. Um, no lays fit today. Uh, just so I could get them real quick and uh, put them in. So we're going to do these. And these are 6,500K, by the way, lumens. And we're going to see what it looks like. All right, so if everything was installed correctly, we just installed the uh, headlights. As you know, 
It's easy as uh, pulling a stick out and popping the headlight back in. So we're gonna come in here, turn the headlights on real quick and the high beams and see if they all work. Oh yeah, that is bright. So that is the best like $20 mod you can do. I think it was like $14 actually on Amazon. But uh, as you can see, we got both front headlights on, low beam and high beam, and the fog lights at the same time. So if people are flashing you for having your lows and fog lights on, just buy that $14 and show them what's really bright, you know? But uh, we're actually about to do the exhaust tape right now on the stack. That was very, very simple. And uh, I'm gonna do that with you guys right now. All right, there's the gloss black roof, by the way. But uh, we have our exhaust wrapped nice and uh, soaking wet. So we're gonna come out here and try and clean up this little mounting area right here. Just wrap it from the bottom, probably to about like right here, just to, right below the logo actually, just to clean it up a little bit for the new owner. And uh, yeah, this should be fun. a lot better than what it did to paint the brackets black but probably just gonna leave them I mean that's fine but that looks pretty clean so I'm gonna crank it up for a second let it uh, dry out naturally try and uh, promote it a little bit actually so we're gonna crank it up let it dry out and shrink on there and should be looking pretty good so nice It's a fever for you. Is that weed? <laughs> what is it? Oh, that's dope. But, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's what uh, kind of grew my channel. I didn't really have any many subscribers before I started this build. So, it's definitely going to be sad to see it go, but uh, I'm excited for something new. I'm excited for. Uh, a lot more opportunities with different companies. Uh, I'm planning to stick with a diesel. I'll either be getting a 13 to 15 a Platinum F250 um, or King Ranch or a new gas uh, EcoBoost possibly. Um, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure. There's so many options that I want. I'm an enthusiast to all vehicles as you guys know. But I know you can thrive on any platform and I'm just trying to make it unique whatever I do get and to be different but i know there's a lot of builds that are saturated with f-150s and f-250s but not many youtubers with the uh, 13 to 15 f-250s so i think it'll be pretty cool to get one of them hopefully i'm, I'm trying to stay within like the 45,000 range uh that would be really nice but this this truck will forever hold a piece of my heart and it's uh it's definitely gonna kill me to see it go but like i said i have a whole list of buyers waiting to come look at it i know a lot of people tire kick a lot when you do sell something so i'm just trying to mitigate all that and uh i think i'll sell this week though um I'm, i really don't want to take less than twenty thousand, uh considering all the stuff that's done to it and it only has two forty eight thousand runs and drives fine obviously uh, i mean no check engine light or anything like that and tons of upgrades so it, it'll sell it'll sell i mean it's just gonna hurt me right here but uh yeah um thank you guys so much for watching today's video we just put a little few mods on the truck before we get ready to sell it uh try and tighten everything up for the new owner whoever does buy it and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys are excited for the next build as much as i am peace i need the ice and cream kick and shit need the car billy jean same game come with glass of beans i be high and i'm fine i'm seen money bold and it blows out of jeans man i need me a fast squeeze Hold a piggy, I'm sipping my lane hey. And baby, it is what it seems hey. I'm on a whole nother level for sure It made like I'm hitting the wood elbow They be snitching and bitching, I know that they told They be breaking the code, man, it's all about the bro But I'm not in the game, I can't fuck with the hoes When I hop on the stage, they be ripping my clothes We gon' fucking record and I'm not gon' expose This is a letter that I never wrote Please believe me, baby 
get on your knees and pay me. Perkin' it at 